Hey everyone, it's Carly Hall and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is a super quick one about curving text. If you are using a phone or device, the application for mobile devices does not have the curving ability yet. So I am on a computer, I'm using my laptop, and I'm on the Cricut Design Space app for desktop. So I do have the curved option here, and I'm gonna show you how to save it so that you can use it on your mobile devices. To get started, we are going to click on the text icon on the left-hand side, and then you can type out any word or words. And then you are going to be able to curve it by just selecting it, and when you select it, you'll have all of these options up at the top. So if you don't see those options, you just need to click on the actual text and then all of these options up here will appear. You'll see this, see this curve icon, go ahead and click on that and you'll have this slider. So if you slide it to the left, it'll curve up and if you slide it to the right, it'll curve down, all the way down into a circle. So depending on your curve radius, if you're trying to put it in a shape or if you have a specific curve diameter, curve radius that you're looking to achieve, you can use a circle for a guide. If you know that you're making a sticker, for example, and you wanna put this text inside, you can resize your text and then curve it to fit inside that diameter. So you can see that you can curve it so it fits whatever you're looking for. Let's curve it a little bit more out this way. Kind of fiddle around and play with it until you get what you're looking for and you can see that it will fit inside there. Now say you are unhappy with the kerning or the spacing between letters, you can also ungroup your letters and then you can adjust your spacing. Now a pro tip, if you know that you want this exact same curve for additional words, I would make a copy and hide that on your canvas. So that way, if you need to adjust the text, you can just easily unhide this layer and then adjust it. Now say you want to ungroup these and move them around. Let's zoom in here. I can ungroup and then I can adjust individual letters if I don't like how they're looking and move them around until I'm happy. So that's what the ungroup feature does. And this is great to get those little tiny adjustments that you need. Once you're done I'm making all your adjustments and you're happy with how the curved letters look, obviously this is just an example, so I'm not gonna fuss too much, but you get the point. Now, if I wanted to open this on my mobile device, right now I could open it because, because my letters are all ungrouped but I wanna weld them together so that they're one single cut. And even though they're not overlapping, which is technically and typically why I would use the weld function, I want to weld them so that they all are one shape together. Now to open it on my mobile device, I do have to delete this layer. So make sure you're done with all your adjustments or save a copy. So I'm gonna save this curved text. And this one has my extra little um, editable text on there and then you can also save one and say save as curved text for mobile so I'll save that too just so you understand kind of what I'm going for here and then I can delete this text file if I leave it in I won't be able to open it on my mobile device so let me show you what I mean by that so if I go to my mobile device so from my mobile device if I go to the home screen by on the right hand, upper right hand corner, I can click on that and go to the home option. And then under categories, I'm going to say projects in the cloud. So I'm gonna to go to the one that I specifically saved for mobile and I can click on that and then I can click customize. So since it contains curved text, it will not work. So let's go back over to my desktop and then we'll delete out the curved text. So we'll delete this out and then we'll save this copy. And then back on my phone, now I have this curved text for mobile option. So I'm gonna click on that 
And then when I click customize, you can see that now I can use my mobile device and cut this. Of course, I can also just take text and manually curve it if I, if I wanna do that, but this makes it really easy to move my projects from the desktop version to the mobile app. All right, back on my computer. I think that's everything that I wanted to go over, but curving text is super fun. Again, you just can click your text tool and then you can adjust the curve with this little slider here. You can curve up and down and then adjust further using the ungroup option and then eventually welding your shape together if you'd like to use it on your mobile app. If you found this video helpful, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up so that other people can check it out too. And if you want to see other tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want notifications on future videos, go ahead and hit the bell notification as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video.